So welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. As you might know, after every KC Cup there is a big ban list. So in this video I will try to give my assessment of the current meta or tier list and I'll try to objectively predict what will happen in the ban list and I'll also give you my wish list what I want to happen but I'll still try to make it as objective as possible firstly let's see the tier list okay this is the power rankings because we want to see what's hot on the ladder or in the tournaments and this probably represent it the best so let's start with fire king I actually do predict that something is going to happen with this deck and it's actually destiny draw I think that destiny draw needs to be hit because it's being abused with like you see a ton of hand traps and then like it's stall until you get your cards to make your plays and just wipe the field and go for lethal I think that destiny draw is toxic for the game or at least toxic now how it's being used by putting in tons of hand traps so yeah I predict that it's going to be nerfed and I predict that it's going to be like you have to be at like 1000 life points or maybe 1500 because now you can veil and with veil you can literally have million life points and still have this destiny draw but that's not how the skill is intended and it's not uh, like in anime so i do think that they might go for killing it maybe not maybe not killing it with putting restrictions on it like that but yeah i think it's come to a place where where they might nerf it like a lot so yeah uh, i wouldn't be surprised if uh, it's about 1k life or maybe 1500 and that's not mm, i mean that is actually my wish list because um but i still do use destiny draw from time to time so <laughs> it's not it's not i just want my deck to win it's about finding the healthy balance in the game and i don't think that this form of destiny draw is healthy now so i think that's it for fire kings there is nothing much about them that is unhealthy except like i said destiny draw okay so let's go back to the tier list and see what's next Okay, so Trimids are very popular because of the Resonators and there are some decks that have a bad matchup against Trimids but yeah, Trimids are not unhealthy <laughs> at all and I think they are balanced. You get the pun, they are balanced, they play balance. Uh, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Okay, uh, TGs. TGs actually are one of my uh, favorite decks to play. They are very fun. Um, they can be very oppressive, and you might even say that they can be unhealthy with <laughs> Black Rose in the field uh, or putting in Query onto Banish Tree uh, monsters, opponents' monsters from the field or graveyard in on their turn but i don't think they're going to do anything to tgs um well they might put something to two so they can play tronade or something but i think it's uh, probably too soon but it i'm i'm not positive i'm not sure cyber dragon are interesting and i th think that we need to talk about cyber dragon like cyber dragon are since i remember being like in the meta not top tier but they 
always always are in the kc cups and they, because they are very oppressive they otk very consistently and basically through everything because they have like a million attacks so like we expected in this kc cup after they nerfed it completely they still find a way to play the deck so my problem with this deck or not just mine what is the problem with this deck as you can notice they play only four monsters and they still have million attacks and why is that it's because of the skill and the skill is in my opinion that which is breaking the deck like the ability to play uh, monsters just because you uh, monsters to fuel or fusion just because uh, you take damage is in my opinion too toxic and it's the thing that is breaking the deck like if we completely removed the skill i doubt that it, the deck is going to be played in every kc cup and they will have to have to play more monsters and then they will lose more spells uh, like book of moon or cosmic or fusion gate or whatever and that's going to make the deck much much less oppressive and much much less consistent so i do see the deck being nerfed with the skill i don't know if it's going to be in this ban list or the next one or the, the ban list after that but at some point they have they will have to get rid of that skill because it's too toxic okay so yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's it for cyber jiranui is an interesting one because <laughs> shiranui are zombies zombies never die <laughs> like konami tried to kill it like a million times but until they banned the uh, spectral sword like <laughs> shiranui will just keep coming back because its ability to banish itself from the graveyard is too op for this format as you can see they do play destiny draw and they do play endless trap hell um, I think that the Endless Trap Hell is actually the skill to be nerfed and Destiny Draw I already predicted to be to get nerfed. So that probably will stop Shirnui for a bit. Because I don't know, I mean, what, what can they do really? What can they do? It's not, as you can see, it's not Shiranui anymore. It's just a ton of traps and Spectral Sword to <laughs> make your synchros. So yeah, I don't know what what they can do except um, limiting Spectral Sword more or uh, limiting the skills. Okay, so then we have Water. Well, Water is pretty new, but some of their cards or maybe most of their cards are old, like Diva and infantry the problem with water is that they abuse the tth the treacherous so is it really the water problem or is it the tth and konami not willing to ban the toxic card and of course they're going to do it for every deck that comes up they, they will have to like for harpies they will have to do it for resonators and yeah i don't think it's a very good thing to just <laughs> in time uh, limit the decks to not be able to use the toxic cards so yeah we might see something get limited to two so they can't use tth but i don't know maybe it's too soon so yeah i think we'll have to see on that Onomats, Onomats got nerfed mer uh, uh, in the last ban list with the sister going to 2 so they can play Trunade and this build isn't playing Trunade but yeah they just <laughs> sw uh, switched it to MST. I don't think they're getting nerfed more, I think they are acceptable. They might 
do something else to to like uh, the do do draw or the wind so they so because some builds are playing trunade so they absolutely kill the kill the <laughs> trunade part of the deck but yeah they will just play more msts or cosmics or whatever so i don't think they can do much to this deck <laughs> okay so let's go up Ooh, it's getting spicy now harpies is another deck that is abusing tth and yeah it's it's the thing that is making the deck too much too much for the decks for the other decks like if you open tth and you have cyber slash and the book like <laughs> it's it's probably over already you can't do anything so yeah they might do something if, I mean, it might be uh, too soon, but you never know with Konami. The Animats are also new, so they still got nerfed with the semi-limit. I don't know, it's, it's on them to see if it's too soon for these decks, for Resonators, for Water. But yeah, that's the only thing that's not balanced in this build or in this deck at all and now <laughs> the long waited thunder dragons and uh, just to note out uh, I I am cyber uh, thunder dragon player and I do play them a lot they are my best deck probably and I still think they should get nerfed and because they are too much, like a lot too much, with the Levianir. Levianir being probably the most oppressive card in the game. Like you can just non-target destroy up to two cards on the field. And that comboed with Thunder Dragons who can just put themselves in the graveyard are is, is uh, the combination for a good time. So Thunder Dragons are not are an old archetype and are like the chances are 110% that they will get nerfed and now the only question is what as we can see they do use tons of skills so obviously it's not <laughs> the problem is not in the skills and we all know what's the problem it's the Levianir which can like I said pop two cards on the field so how do we make the deck less consistent and less able to abuse Levianir? And I think that it's it has to do with the melody. Like we saw in Blue Eyes, melody making... But I don't know if just removing melody from the deck will be enough for Konami. Because if, if, we, if we remove melody okay that is big but is it big enough like you still have triple levianir to draw into decayed said that lupine will go to one i mean i can see it happening because it's a, a normal rarity card like konami doesn't care <laughs> about it but i don't know it's kind of taking the it's kind of harsh on lupine like it's still being used in metapis so they might do something with the roar or the dark or might even with the regular thunder dragon i mean they have tons of possibilities they can <laughs> i'm predicting that they will nerf the deck a lot i mean they can't kill the deck because levianir is reprinted newly they can just slaughter the deck but i wouldn't be surprised if they come close and if they make thunder dragons a lot more harder to play and a lot more inconsistent so i do expect getting melody removed and i do expect a big core of the deck removed as well so it's either Loom or the regular uh, regular thunder dragon or the 
a roar or the dark. And yeah, I expect huge nerfs for Thunder Dragons, honestly. And as a Thunder Dragon player, I still want them to be nerfed because it's too toxic. Okay, so let's go to the last. Is it the last? Yeah. Resonators. Resonators I touched upon. Um, they are very oppressive, but. And I think skill is too much. Like searching for any fiend type monster is too much and being able to use a mano evado or any normal summon is too much in my opinion and then combo that with the book and the tth and the trunade is literally literally too much like it's too oppressive too they they will have to find a way to limit it in, in the future now how do they do that i mean i don't know um putting something to two might be a good idea to get rid of uh, the tth and the trunade but will that be enough probably for now but yeah um resonators are going to get nerfed in the future if not in this ban list and yeah that's that's it basically that's it for this uh for this ban list, um, I think I said about everything I wanted to say. Um, write me down below what are your um, expectations, what do you think will happen, and write me down below if you agree with me or disagree with me. And um, yeah, if you like the video, please, please like the video. <laughs> because that will help me a lot and subscribe so you don't miss other videos that I'll be posting out and I guess I'll see you then in the next one. Bye!